Hello everyone, it's been a little while once again, but I am back with another video. Now before everyone gets angry in the comments, don't worry, I'm working on another mobile antivirus video, just hold up. This will just be a filler video until I finish that one. But with that little speech out of the way, today I will be taking a look at the Phonics ransomware. And let me show you what files I have here available for encryption. Well, if the ransomware works and encrypts. So I now have music, well, one piece of music, and a video available for encryption. I'll show you those in a second. As always, I have the usual rich text document and just the regular text document. All of them non-encrypted. That's non-encrypted either. Of course, I have the cute kittens kind of tradition at this point. Stock images. Another stock image. And then I have this, which I got from No Copyright Sounds. Hopefully it'll play. Okay. And then I have a crusty video here. That works too. Now, let me just make sure that Windows Defender is still disabled, because it will turn itself on automatically again. And I'm pretty sure Windows Defender at this point detects the Phonics ransomware. Someone can double check me on that. And yep, everything's off. So let me go ahead and extract the Phonics ransomware. And without further ado, let's go ahead and launch this 379 kilobyte executable. And with that, it appears like it is already generating a key. Let's see, nothing is encrypted yet. Give it some time, and I'm sure it will. Take a look in Task Manager. Just keep an eye on the documents here. There it is. Okay, now it's going. There we go. 11.2 megabytes of disk, of disk usage. Let's see, did it touch the... It doesn't appear like it touched anything yet. But it is using up a decent amount of disk. Okay. Let's see, it made some keys. Yeah, I made some keys here. Let me see if I can get a look at these. Open with. I don't have Notepad++, but hopefully Notepad will do the job on this. Okay, there is the private key. And then we have the public key, I assume. Yeah, that's unreadable. Still, I assume nothing? Yeah, nothing here. Nothing there. Just make sure it's not Windows. Nope. Still doing something. Tell you what I'll do. I will wait for the ransomware to do its job, and I will be right back when it's done. Alright, I'm back, and as you can see, it has done its job. Pretty much immediately after I went to pause the video, the ransomware launched.
as you can see, uh, got 6 days, 7 hours, 56 minutes, and 36 seconds until all the files are gone. So, regards, Phonics team. And what do we have here? Oh, very helpful. So let's take a look at what we have left here. So, uh, yeah, these documents are done. It looks like this is the email to contact. Now, this ransomware, the Fox ransomware, is known as ransomware as a service. So, this is the person right here who I would need to contact. So, yeah, and I'll just close out of this message right here. Change the change the background to whatever that is. Oh, it's just phonics backward. Okay then. Let's take a look at our pictures here. Nothing left. And once again, just for proof, I will go ahead and change the extension. And let's see, um, well, Windows doesn't recognize it. Photo Viewer doesn't recognize it either. Now, what about the music? Music is gone too. As is the video. So yeah, that was... I'll put the um, time frame right up here as to how long it took on this machine to encrypt everything. Yeah, I've said once and I'll say again, never ever pay ransomware dealers. They really have no incentive to give you your files back, if we're being completely honest here. They just care about the money. They don't care about what damage they cause. And with that, this computer's data is gone. And that pretty much wraps up this quick little video. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.